So ladies and gentlemen, it is our hope that uh, the videos that we do post are educative and if you have questions kindly ask in the comment section so that we can get to respond to them. Again, it's also our hope that we break down these medical uh, conditions into a language that is easy to understand by a person who has never stepped in a medical class and therefore anywhere you find us going uh, a little deep kindly be uh, quick to notify us also in the comment section so you can also share these videos with uh, people who you suspect or you think have these conditions so that they can get some help as soon as possible so welcome to the health and wellness spot with me dr lewis and today i'm going to talk about stroke so what is stroke what are the causes of stroke what are the types of stroke and what are the risk factors and management of every type of stroke so basically stroke is divided into two and stroke by definition is uh, where your brain starts to fail or it starts to die your brain cells start to die because there is a limited uh, supply of blood and therefore oxygen and nutrients to that brain tissue so it starts to die so basically you limit uh, supply of oxygen and uh, nutrients to the brain and this causes uh, a death to these brain cells and that is basically stroke okay so there are two types of stroke majorly so one is ischemic and the other one is hemorrhagic so from the word hemorrhagic that means bleeding and ischemic that means blocking or a reduction of oxygen and nutrients to a tissue so it starts dying so ischemic and hemorrhagic are the major classification of stroke and from the demonstration i've just showed you embolic thrombolic and hemorrhagic so embolic and thrombolic this one and this two are all forms of ischemic stroke okay so basically uh, what is the difference between ischemic and hemorrhagic okay so ischemic happens in 85 percent of the cases so most of the patients who uh, are brought to hospitals uh, with stroke is because of ischemic uh, stroke okay and this ischemic stroke definitely is caused by two so number one is the embolic which is the formation a bubble in the blood a vessel that goes and blocks the flow of oxygen or nutrients to the brain and then the throm thrombotic this is where there's a blood clot this is where there's plucking so we have a video that talks about plucking and how sugar and red blood cells combine to form a sticky substance that sticks on the vessels on the, on the walls of the vessels uh, of blood vessels and therefore starts to grow because it starts to accumulate and block blood cells then when it's growing and bulging it blocks the blood flow towards the brain and therefore you get thrombotic shock so thrombotic and embolic which is a blood clot are both types of ischemic uh, stroke okay so 85 percent of the cases are ischemic and 15 percent are hemorrhagic that is one number two the cause is basically for ischemic is embolic and thrombotic so there's a blood clot or there is an emboli which comes from fat or a gas bubble and for the hemorrhagic there's a rupture in the blood vessels that supply the brain and therefore from this we can get the diagnosis which is ct scan so you run a ct scan in the ct scan you will see the image of the brain and if there's blood in the brain then you realize that that is a hemorrhagic uh, stroke if there is no blood then definitely that goes to ischemic stroke okay then the risk factors for both are age so the older you get the higher chances of getting stroke then there's diets basically simple carbohydrates and all this and uh, and, and seed oils uh, have a chance to uh, uh, expose you to stroke then there's uh, diabetes mellitus hypertension and uh, and even diets okay so diets already talk about it and so for both we have diabetes we have hypertension we have age and specifically for hemorrhagic we have anticoagulants like aspirin aspirin can cause you uh, hemorrhagic uh, stroke so for treatment first of all before i even talk about treatment let me talk about the symptoms that happen in stroke so symptom number one is reduced cognitive function and consciousness these people will come fainting or these people cannot even recognize cannot even talk so the cognitive function of them is impaired because you've impaired the brain number two there's this uh, acronym called fast So F is facial dripping. So their face is basically dripping. Then we have A, the arms are weak. So arm weakness, okay? Then S is slurred speech. 
So we have facial dripping, we have weakness of the arm, we have uh, 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 the S that is slurred speech, then we have the T. This indicates the time at which uh, uh, treatment is required. Okay, so basically this one is not a symptom but it's just the exposure time. Okay, good. So basically F, A and S for the symptoms. Okay, and then now the treatment. How do you manage? Remember this is an emergency, so it's supposed to be handled in a, a proper setup in the hospital with uh, uh, experts, which are medical uh, doctors or specialists of these conditions. So it's not a condition you can handle at home because it's a medical emergency. And therefore treatment for ischemic stroke, then you have to do, you use aspirin, which is an, a thrombolytic agent to break down these clots so that it allows blood to flow back to the brain and therefore rejuvenation of brain cells. For the other one which is hemorrhagic, then we have supportive therapy. Basically, you just maintain the blood pressure.